I've given you everything I got for Season 1 ReZero. But the farm is just beginning. In fact, right now, a new floodgate of content has opened for video essays talking specifically about ReZero Season 1 content. There's a lot of what-if routes. There's a lot of other stuff that I can't cover just yet due to Season 2 spoilers. But once Season 2 is done, bro, then the true farm begins. You think that we're nearing the end? No. This is the beginning of the end and the end of the beginning. Let's begin today's reaction. Where are we at? Otto! Patrash! Emilia Subaru! Kid! So like we're starting off straight from that same episode, right? Episode 25, right? We had the whole uh, good talk with Amelia, right? And now, right after. Literally right after. And this should be the post credit scene that a lot of people are saying, Wait, what version are you watching? You're, you're not watching the original. Shut the fuck up. You dumbass. You watched the director's cut. You watched the other version that had that shit at the end. The actual original. Skip that. Don't fucking gaslight me. Petra. Pecking order. Amelia. Patrash. Petra. Rem. I'm sorry. Petra. Oh boy. Yeah. Lose at what? First of all, Amelia probably don't even see Subaru that way. I don't think she still understands what love even is. She still probably has no chance with her just yet. Their only competition right now is with the fucking Land Dragon and Rem. But this motherfucker only cares about the half-elf. Yeah, just smile. <laughs> Slap happy. Another boomer term. And why does Amelia say weird old lingo? Because if we watch Frozen Bond, long time ago, Amelia lived in the forest with a bunch of elves. Powers went crazy, sealed herself, and froze everyone else. And then she got brought back by Puck. Therefore, old language. Pout. <laughs> what are you? You're not a kid? I don't think you're really a teenager either. Petra, you are literally a child. Good job, Petra. And Priscilla? She busy at home, probably watching this shit, them just suffering, same. <laughs> monkeys. Like, she didn't do anything. In season one, other than just shit on Subaru. All she did was show up being super hot. <laughs> Called Amelia some slurs and left. <laughs> she didn't do sh Apparently Priscilla's gonna have a huge moment in season three, right? Obviously she doesn't have an opportunity to shine because her content is not in season one, but I'm wondering what will they do with Priscilla in season three? Yurius, Yukurius. Otto did clutch very hard. And Patrash. He blushing. Also blushing right now. Okay, right. Just thinking about the blue-haired maid that gets cocked all the time. What? You can ask her on a date or what? What about Rem? Oh yeah, Rem said that I love you. And then I said I love Amelia. And now I'm pursuing Amelia, even though Rem is now being a cut queen and following, yeah. They're trying to tell Amelia, like, I'm sorry, Rem is like that now. Dual wielding. No, I don't think she knows what you're getting at, because... You're probably trying to say, like, Amelia, I know I told you I love you last episode, but... This other girl is still around, therefore, can I dual wield? Okay. Sugoku! <laughs> they're, they're a good little boy. Good little boy. Want a little treat? 
We're cooked. <laughs> we're fucking cooked, bro. <laughs> All that episode 25 season one. <laughs> the fucking EMT glazers, bro. Fucking Subaru and EMT shit people, bro. It's just like... <laughs> I, was there progress made? Maybe, but like... I still don't really think she knows what love is. And she still treats him like a good little boy. So that's not really like a man that she loves. <laughs> Say it. It is what it is. Are you good with it, Amelia? Amelia, what? Are you shocked that Subaru got bitches? Yeah. Mm. Whoa! Take a wait, 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 wait. Take a step back. Let's, let's take a couple steps back. Wait, 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 wait. We know who is Rem happens when the fog of elimination from the white whale kills that target. But in that run, after we regressed, other people knew who Rem was. Rem did not exist in episode 25, though. I don't remember her. Rem was left behind with Krush. And then what? But the white whale is dead. Unless there's some other fucking fog of elimination that was around. Did Rem and Cruz just hang out by the white whale's carcass, but then a little bit of excess fog came out and it killed him? No, there's... What? What? How the fuck does this make sense? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> you gaslighting me? <gasps> huh? The white whale. <laughs> they really are just bringing the head back. They're gonna feed the people in the village with it? But the whole soundtrack there was fucking weird. Now. It's easy to solve this, right? It's super easy to solve this. I don't know where the checkpoint is though. That's the scary part. <laughs> That's the scary part. Where's the checkpoint? Where's the checkpoint, bro? I don't know. It's that happy soundtrack, though. Rem! But she exists! No, 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 this might be backstory stuff. I'm not sure. What's the timeline right now? What's the timeline right now? Cruise Rem after the whale subjugation. So they only took the head. Because I can remember in episode 25, there was a whole whale carcass, the rest of the body that was frozen that we threw the bomb at, but they just like cut the head off and they're returning it, huh? All right, all right, interesting. Ricardo Gigachad. You did say that. Both eyes. Yeah? Crush blushing? Oh, kind of maiden like? That's very rare to see. Yeah, you're kind of smiling there. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. What the fuck happened when we went off to kill Benedict Goose, bro? That can't be good. Is there another whale? Is there a fourth whale, bro? Technically, there was only one whale. And then the other two were just like spawns of the original whale as a last minute desperation play. But like, uh, what now, bro? Yeah, that guy's dead. Take step! Take step! Who is it? It's the man with 291 wives, right? It's that dude! It's, it's that dude that we saw in the one enemy chart video, right? It's Regulus, right? The white haired dude? What the fuck was that? 
<laughs> Dude, what is this shit? What power? Is, is this his unknown authority? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is this is. Authority of lust? Like, I the, the visuals are crazy. What's that sound? Sorry, I got too excited there. What is that sound? This is way more powerful. <laughs> this is way more powerful than the authority of Sloth Unseen Hand, right? It does kind of sound like a whale sound. I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know. The, the, the howling, some sort of screaming. I mean, he was just standing there. But the first cart you obliterated. I don't think we told you to trample you there. Archbishop? Which one are you? Yeah, you know? Okay. What the fuck? It's that sound again. This time he just stood there. It's almost like there's like a barrier, right? Like this is Mugen, bro. And it's that same sound again when the carts were being blown up. I'm not completely sure, but like, bro can just sit there and shit won't hurt him. You know, he's not wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> he, he is just... What if we try to have an honest conversation with them? You know? What about that? Profel... <laughs> That's her arm gone, bro! But like, this guy is just a professional victim. <laughs> Every time something hits, you can hear the howling. <laughs> Two? Two archbishops? Or what is it? Okay. So, we've technically been spoiled of how many wives Regulus has because we watched that random chart video, but I don't think it really matters. That's like an out of context spoilers. But based on his themes, I could maybe guess that he's like Archbishop of Lust because he's so lustful. But based on his behaviors of being a professional victim, I'm not sure. But this guy, I eat, I devour. This has to be gluttony if this is a sin, Archbishop, right? What the fuck is this thing? Just got jagged teeth. I don't even know if it looks like a fucking human. I don't think he's supposed to be a human, actually. Then again, better goose. This guy's better looking than Betsu. <laughs> Rem 1v2? Gluttony. Lai Batin Kaitos. Archbishop Gluttony. This is so hot. Bro. All of season one, I was like, I want to meet more Archbishop. But here's Gluttony. And then the other guy, Regulus. Which one are you? Kaitos. Greed, not lust. He's greedy. Greedy, that's why he has a lot of wives. I don't know. I thought because he was such a coomer, he's had so many wives, but okay. Greed and gluttony. Regulus Corneas. Regulus Corneas. We came here because we heard our pet had been slain. White whale. What did Puck say was the white whale in the past? Gluttony. But now it's known as the white whale. It's this guy's pet. The whale is this guy's pet. And if we try to think about the fog of elimination and why Rem is forgotten, this motherfucker probably can erase too. If his pet can erase, if he probably created... No. The, the dialogue specifically said the Witch of Envy created the white whale. But that could be a misleading, trans, uh, misleading dialogue from people that's not really aware of like how it really happened. But I remember in season one, I was like, Gluttony? Archbishop? Did the Witch of Gluttony create this shit? 
but someone, but in the show, someone said which of Envy created it, but who knows? Maybe this guy does have, you know, fog of elimination powers, though. 400 years, white whale. <laughs> it's kind of like bad to the guess, I guess. Just a little bit, right? Kind of like crazy when he talks like this, you know, has all the fucking, uh, I don't know, the... Just, it's just the way that they say shit and poses. This is the craziest fucking drip. Bro. Is he trying to show us his bulge? Because this is not a v-neck. This is not a cleavage. This is like a cleavage for your crotch. Look how deep that V goes down there. <laughs> Alliteration is just like better to goose. <laughs> how long since our hunger has been sated? Are you saying that these are your meals? Or are you saying that your hunger is sated? He's happy. He's happy. Wait. I expected them to be a good, right bunch considering they managed to kill. <laughs> He's happy about it. The dialogue again of the Archbishop is always so interesting. He shows up. He's like, who would have killed my pet that wreaked havoc on this world for 400 years? It's even better actually. He's happy because Remen Cruch is here. <laughs> Royal candidates? He loves this shit though. <laughs> Regulus might be a good guy. See? He's the sensible, reasonable archbishop here. He just wants to have a conversation. He doesn't want meaningless violence. We started this shit on him first. <laughs> Maybe we should talk to him. But you're greedy for something else. <laughs> I think we're fucking up. <laughs> Cause like, what happens if we actually listen to regular and say we don't want to fight? Chill. Chill the fuck out. Wait, can we be friends? Maybe it would have worked. Based on the dialogue, that's the only thing I can guess. Maybe he would do something else. <laughs> but based on what he's saying, I'm like, I don't know, we're pissing him off. <laughs> Oh, what is the soundtrack? Hey, you. Natsuki Subaru. The soundtrack? Hey, you. So it's a tadosimi. Hey, you. Natsuki Subaru. Yeah. 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 You motherfucker. You just oh it's 2v1, it's not fair. Yes, and it's ASMR time. I can't scream anymore. But what the hell, dude? He knew it. He did something again. Like, I don't know what his powers are. And every time his powers activate, it's like this like howling noise. He seemingly has Mugen, like a barrier. And he can just like use this shit to like stop her from moving as well. And if you look at the other guy, that's Lie guy, right? So this is Lai. Or Lee, I forget his name. The gluttony guy, super fucking fast, right? Super fast, has daggers on his like hands, like Wolverine. But it looks like he's trying to chomp with his teeth, with the jagged teeth. And if you get bit, maybe you get forgotten. <laughs> Two v one unfair. <laughs> you see that flower on her head, bro? You see the pins and everything just being destroyed here from Regulus? There's a little bulge there. It's more pronounced now. You can see more of the bulge now. Because <laughs> his drip is crazy. Look at his outfit, bro. What the hell is this outfit, man? That's the craziest cleavage I've seen in my life. <laughs> Did he just... Look, look, wait, 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 wait. look at the frames here. Isn't this sloth what if? The potential story of Ram and Subaru if they ran away and had a family? Because, like, this scene looks like an older Rem, right? It, it is, right? 
It is. Oh, and you know, the Subaru son, he would have blue hair. And the daughter would have black hair and it's long hair and red. Oh man. And then here's, you know, Subaru and his son one day, if it could have been. Oh. And then Rem with the daughter. Okay, so he ate her. What does that mean? God. What did you eat? And that's basically imagery of Rem being just erased from this world, I guess. But did he like bite her? Did he I don't know. He he ate, he chomped, and Rem is gone now, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. The ambush. <laughs> Krush isn't dead, right? No, no, it's just the arm, right? What are you talking about? Krush isn't dead. <laughs> Dude, this is a fucking nightmare of a first episode, man. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. And it makes sense because gluttony, the association with how Puck called it gluttony from before, but it's called a white whale now. We just saw the Archbishop of Gluttony. Of course, he's going to have some similar powers to erase people based on the imagery of when he chomped Rem and the picture's memory is all just disappearing. I guess it's gone. So at this point, I don't think a regression is going to work because if you're trying to make these moments matter, you can't just fucking regress and overcome it just like the amelia scene with red subaru in the beginning of arc 3 like we can't the checkpoint's probably going to be after this or else this doesn't matter you know what i mean Like, ooh, Rem's looking rough. Wait, that's that wait a minute, that's not even Rem. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, at this point, I would have immediately killed myself. I would not waste any time in fear that a checkpoint would be made during the time that I'm wasting right now. You know what I mean? Like, I would have won hunt but like Fuck, bro. But you know it's gonna fucking happen. You know it's gonna just have a checkpoint after this. Mace? Weapon. Rem, 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 rem. I don't see visible injuries. It's rem. I get it. It makes sense, but damn, we're really just going back to our old ways, huh? I get it. I get it. There's nothing he can do, huh? Nobody can do anything about this? It's simple. Just kill the Archbishop of Gluttony. Because like if that's his power, wouldn't it be just kill that guy and then this gets removed? <laughs> oh, it's not simple. Sorry, it is simple. It's not easy. No, no, no. You guys don't actually understand what simple and easy is, right? Think about this. It's simple to play basketball. Put the ball in the fucking hoop. But why aren't any of you in the NBA? Because you retards don't understand what it means to be simple versus easy. Two different things. Playing Valorant, COD games, tap on the fucking head, just kill him, bro. It's not easy. It is a simple concept to kill the Archbishop of Gluttony, but is it going to be easy? <laughs> yeah, I'd do it. Right now, we have to, just to try. The more time you spend here, no, we got to do this right now. What a depressing start, man. What a depressing start. But if it means getting Rem, and now that we've done it once before, we can do it again. We can do this. But like, what if the checkpoint is too late, bro? What if the checkpoint is made after Gluttony eats Rem? Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> it's too late. 
This is the scene where she doesn't. So fucking troll. But again, if you want to have that moment matter, you can't just remove it by regressing. It makes sense, but like, goddamn, bro. What a fucking start to the season. Krush, arm gone. I don't even know if he's in the coma or something. Rem, gone. What the fuck do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Who's Rem? Oh, God. <laughs> Now what, bro? What do we do? Kill gluttony. How? I don't know. Yeah, but she stares at you sleeping all the time. Exactly. I just realized, I just realized. God. I don't know if the Appa video will be out because right now it's going through a limited ad review. But we have watched the videos about the Forbidden Appas. Basically, the summary is this If you read the Bible, there's this idea of the origin sin being introduced because Eve ate the forbidden fruit. Appas are just basically that. Whenever appas exist and Subaru takes it, bad things happen. But if you abandon the appas, then good things happen. Now, this is just like an anime. I'm not sure if Taupe went out of himself to do it. Maybe it's not in the light novels, web novels. But in the anime, it's uncanny how many times the appas exist. And there's a direct correlation of how you interact and how whether or not like a good run or a bad run happens. I'm sure the paring knife right there isn't really anything else. But like the appas are here, man. Appas. Puck. Puck. Yo. なんだはないお前がここに来るなんてどういう風の吹き回しだよ僕が苦手なんでしょどういう風の吹き回しだよ僕が苦手なんでしょどういう風の吹き回しだよ僕が苦手なんでしょどういう風の吹き回しだよ
何ができるってあれながら不甲斐なくてめめしい話ですけどあとは彼女もそれを喜んでくれているのではないでしょう何ができるってわけでもないのにめめしい話ですけどそんなことは Glaze? 彼女もしてくれているのではないでしょうか出過ぎたことは、yep. no, お気に障りましたよねいえ The way she's talking is kind of weird <laughs> The way she's talking is kind of weird This is not the cruise that I know I've listened to a lot of cruise over the last month Her, her speech pattern is not the fucking same right now What's going on with her bro? What's going on with her bro? What? Natsuki Subaru. Did she lose her memories? No! Rem. She. Kruish is talking about how much Rem appreciates Subaru, but you forgot his name? How? No! Oh, it's not gonna end with just Rem. She doesn't fucking know. Now, what happened? We saw Regulus cut off Crucia's arm. It was not Gluttony. But Gluttony can't eat, and then they lose their memories. So this must be what happened, unless it's just fucking trauma and she just lost her memories somehow. Oh shit, bro. What's happened? This is a nightmare. This is a... All, all the fucking pop-off moments and the triumphant moments we had <laughs> with the season one finale. Just like, yeah, the highs are good, right? Rem, who was Rem? Krush, forgot the memories. Arm, gone. And it's only episode one, baby. Wow, we are starting off pretty low, but pretty peak. Now we gotta remind Krush how we all interact. She doesn't even know the mannerisms, what to call each other. This Krush is kind of cute though, right? And uh, no, I'm, I'm not trying to say this is a good thing that Krush has changed personas, but this kind of laid back, uh, ignorant, un unaware Krush seems to be like a budding bird. I don't know. It, it's, I, I want the old Krush back, but this one, I wonder what kind of development of her character they can do because like this is no longer the awe-inspiring general on the field giving speeches and leading people into war into victory wonder what they're gonna do with krush now this is crazy yeah. a whole new side wow thank you dementia okay what are we talking about? Iron Fang, Anastasia's private army. Well, I'm not sure if it's a direct confirmation, right? Because we didn't see it on screen, but one could definitely assume that Gluttony ate, you know, Crucia's memories. Many cases. Alright, we got a new tuny name for this mechanic. The Sleeping Beauty Disease. Well, at the end of the day, it just feels like if Gluttony is the source of it, if we kill him, it should be gone, I hope. But it's like, what if that doesn't even work? That would be fucked up. Mm. I spooked her. Which is called Ooh. Yeah. There's two, right? And we're focused on gluttony right now. But fucking greed was there. Regulus was also there, bro. It's just like she two archbishops, man. They well I I got what I wished for, like a monkey's paw. I was wishing for more. Sin Archbishop to show up over and over again. And here they are, man. I got what I wanted in a fucked up way. You know, if you think about it, this ain't too bad for us. Hear me out. In terms of the royal selection, 
One of the strongest parties, a person that I would have voted for has now lost their memory, is incapacitated. So I'm just saying, <laughs> we, we, we ain't looking too bad. <laughs> Emilia can win now? No. I'd probably still vote in Anastasia over Emilia, Priscilla, and Feld. Uh, <laughs> I don't... Shit. It's, it'll try to look at the positive things, guys. Listen. My humanity, listen. You want to be down on your luck and fucking cry and be a pitiful little pitiful baby? Woo, woe is me? Listen. Anytime life gives you a shitty fucking hand, when you're in a pinch, it's an opportunity in disguise. Always try to make reversals. Think about the positives that you can do from a shitty situation. <laughs> Let's go, Felix. You should think before you speak. Your wrath is getting the better of you right now. Ferris said that in an objective way. It's not to be rude. Gospel. Are we oh, Ferris looking snapping back. I like this. Oh. Oh, that felt like old crush for a second. That felt like old Krush for a second, man. Corrected. It is the witch's god's fault. Exactly. Uh, well, I don't know. Felix has also said the objective truth. And then Super got mad as fuck. It's not like. I don't know. I feel like. It's not really. like. Yeah, it was an offhanded comment, but I felt it was coming from like an objective way to figure out what's going on, but alright. No one is denying that it's not the witch's cult's fault, but Amelia is a cause of this. They're chasing after her. Yeah? Ooh. I mean, the reason Krush is like this is because of the alliance. Maybe it is in their best interest to dissolve this and move on. If you really think about it, like, maybe we could solve this together, but... I don't know. New soundtrack. New soundtrack. I can't promise that. Because I owe Natsuki Subaru my life. In the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Wilhelm? Abandon Crucius faction and join us, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Giga Chad, yes. We should ask Crush that right now. I understand that Felix cares a lot, but like speaking on behalf of somebody whose memories aren't even here anymore, I don't think it really makes sense in this situation. You know you can, that's cope. No, I think it might be in your best interest. If you want Krush back, we need to keep this alliance and go slay Gluttony. That might be the best way to do it. Backing out of this alliance because shit went wrong. It might be a good idea to cut the losses, but if you want to follow through, because like I know your ass ain't gonna fucking heal this, no one can. Not one day you're just gonna magically figure this shit out. I feel like you have to slay gluttony. This soundtrack is so good, man. Yeah. True. It is a safe path, but... Let's go. Let the crew that is in the room right now speak on our behalf. We want to get closure. Let's keep this alliance going. Let's go fuck up Gluttony. There it is. See? Just... Just like... Little hints of the old Krush coming back out like this subconsciously, huh? Right? Because like, this is the season one Krush that I remember. Determined eyes. The resolve is made.
Okay, we're good. <laughs> I guess it really goes to show how much like Felix cares about Krush, right? Because like the whole time Krush is, you know, Felix is trying to act cool and all that, about that. I'm sure a lot of people hating on Felix right now for trying to take the objective safe way out, but like I can understand that. <laughs> Does Krush know Felix is a guy? Now, that's a good question. <laughs> Are we gonna... <laughs> well, well Krush accepted him first in the before, so this Krush isn't any different. It's just that the memories are gone, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But that's hilarious. Alright. <laughs> あれはい。悪を隠します。いいえ、大丈夫。私たちも足並みが揃ってるなんて話したらラムたちと交流して。センチュアリーアゲン。ロズワールにもちゃんと。ロズワールにもちゃんと。ロズワールにもちゃんと
That means Ram would have been the only born child. How does that shit work? Who would win? Double horn prime Ram versus Reinhard. This is not even just full power from like the Oni flashback when she had a single horn. We're thinking two horns right now. <laughs> Probably still Reinhardt. <laughs> Reinhardt has a divine protection called anti-Oni. Anytime Reinhardt is fighting against an Oni, he takes no damage. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, take care of yourself too, man. Lapello, please? Oh? Sugoku. Hey, even if Rem is gone and, you know, our pillar of emotional support, Rem is gone, we have Emilia now. Is this Emilia season with Subaru? EMT. Together. We can share it. There it is. Together. Nice. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, plus she just wants to do this for you too. Hey, there it is. Dude, this is major progress. EMT. Look how there she is for us. Yeah. He's so depressed right now. The one that saved me in episode one. The one that I fell in love with first. Hmm? Why? Okay. And this soundtrack. <laughs> my man's going through it. <laughs> This is the soundtrack that played in episode 7 when I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> we'll get Rem back. We'll get Rem back, that's right. Rem. Each one's promise. And that's today's episode of ReZero, man. Holy shit. We started off season two depressing as fuck. But I did get the wish that I wanted. And what was that? To be introduced to other Sin Arc bishops to see how they behave. And the reason that I wanted that was because Better Use was always the antithesis of Sloth. No matter what, he's always trying to be virtuous and diligent, the anti of sloth. And he get upset if people are being slothful. Looking at Mr. Gluttony here, this guy is very gluttonous. There's not a single thing that he did that let me talk. Like, like, he's not, like, he's not going on a fast. Like, bro is so gluttonous. So, and Regulus, is he greedy? I don't understand how he is greedy. I'll have to analyze these scenes and get more lines from Regulus to understand what part of him is greed, but based on first impressions, seems like he's a professional victim, right? The way he speaks is always like, oh, you dare do this when I was this generous to you? He yaps a lot like me for sure. But like, the greedy things, maybe, right? Possession of many wives, maybe. Maybe he has super, uh, uh, a lot of desires for material wealth. Who knows? If you look at his drip, it's magnificent. I thought he was going to be lust because he has so many wives, but I guess that's not the case. So we have we have greed and gluttony. What do we know with gluttony? If he basically he can erase your name and your memories, which is what happened to Rem. Other people forget who even you are. But on top of that, if presumably this is what happened to Krush, right? After he got off screened, he can also bite you or eat, consume you, and then that person also loses their memories of themselves. So Krush is going through a little bit of like an amnesia arc right now, but the original Krush is still in there, right? What makes Krush is still in there, and you can see that glimpses of Krush shining through the cracks when talking with Felix during these scenes. Felix, 
little bit of an L trying to back out of the alliance, but if you really think of it from an objective standpoint, getting tied up with Subaru is what caused this shift, so maybe it is in their best interest to keep it safe, but if you really want to follow through and get closure, and like Cruz said, right, I'd rather do this shit rather than cower in fear, let's go slay Gluttony. My theory is if you slay Gluttony, then maybe the people will also remember, but if, that's, if that doesn't happen, that's going to be a rude fucking awakening, or maybe there's a totally different way to like get Rem's name and memory back, but right now we just don't know. Rem, I guess that's it, huh? <laughs> Rem is just gone. The who is Rem jokes are just out in full display. Who knows when she's gonna come back, but it's looking like it's gonna be Amelia's season. We're headed to the sanctuary. Roswell is there, and we need to get some fucking answers from that guy. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.